Here we are in Phil at Small Hall. We're here with the two legends. What a night tonight, lads. How was that? <laughs> I let him go first. <laughs> oh, it was unbelievable. Um, to be honest, I felt amazing, didn't I? Like, um, I was speaking to Bill just before. I had no nerves at all. Just had a really good feeling about tonight. I know everything was prepped right. Um, my camp went very well. Um, and yeah, I just felt really good. What, you know what, get, you know, he's a tough competitor. You were in there with yeah. Batman Mooney, isn't he? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's up for it, isn't he? Yeah, that's it. But do you think fighting them, what do you think, Bill, was like the trainer? Fighting them kind of away fighters who want to win, want to come in and get the win, you're going to get the best out of you, definitely. Brandon. You know, it's only going to be a win-win for you, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, they, I feel like if they're going to give it a bit more, we're going to leave some more open, um, and I can capitalise on that, so. What's the hope now? I know I always say this, what's the hope moving forward? Are we going to stay busy this year? Are we going to have a little break? Yeah, yeah, um, well, I'm only a couple of weeks out because um, obviously I was supposed to box at the beginning of the year, but um, many pulled out. So um, I carried on the camp. So I've basically been in camp for 20 weeks. So um, I'm going to have a couple of weeks off. Um, still obviously do a little bit of training, <laughs> but um, <and> then back, <laughs> back to the grind, um, back in camp for September. We hoping for a summer area this year, or would you next, year, next year? Next year, yeah, be, be next year. Like we'll, we'll move on probably next next time to a six round up, um, and then just progress from there. Now he's coming down to his natural weight. What people don't realise is first two pro fights he boxed someone that was ten stone five and someone that was ten stone four because of COVID and stuff like that. It was harder to get opponents. Now he's down at his natural weight. He's going to be contesting at Super Feather at Championship level. And believe me, at, at Super Feather and away this four years, Michael Moody just said it then as well. He's going to be winning titles and, and stopping people a lot of the way all the time. But you know what? That's what I noticed in there. When I saw you, you could really hear them thuds. Yeah. But I remember that last fight I saw you, how that journeyman stayed in there yeah, with some yeah, of them body yeah. shots. Yeah. So uh, what do what you say, you know, you said about Southern Area next year, and I guess winning the Southern Area, you just kind of crack on from there, didn't you? Yeah, you, I mean, any, any title is a good title, you know, and uh, once you've got a title, you're in the mix then, and then you can start calling names and fights to be made. So, but, you know, as I said to you last time, and I always say, one step at a time, we're not going to get ahead of ourselves. But we're still learning our trade, but he's learning it. He's learning it very, very well, very, very quickly. He's a great student to have. Unbelievable trainer. He works so hard. So with, with his hard work and dedication, and, and we go together, and, and we'll just keep climbing the ladder and uh, notching them wins. And would you, you? What about your sponsors? Let's talk about Fake Taxi. Are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, you know, they really stick by you. They're good guys. Hundred percent. Yeah, they're the best sponsor. Well, honestly, they cover everything. For me, they allow me to run full time, do this, put all my energy into it. That's why I'm mixing, that's why I'm getting so good because I can generate all my energy into this sport. It's training like a world champion, but I'm, I, I don't talk silly, like, you know, I've been around the game a long time, but this kid, look, look at the body of yeah. him. Like, like, honestly, look he trains train like a world champion, he don't cut no corners, he eats the best food, he does, he, he does everything you ask of him and more, and, you know, that's why he's going to succeed. Right. You know what's great? What's great for us is that we're, you know, we started this journey with you. So I think when you go on, move on to like fighting for these world titles, it's going to be great for us because we're going to say we were there from the start. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You know, he, he's got all he's got all the ability to do so. He, he, you know, he's got he's getting his belief there now as well. Yeah. He's, he's he's becoming an all rounder, and I'm I'm learning as we go along. I'm still a young coach, but I studied the game inside out. We worked on that particular shot. In this week in the gym, kept throwing it and, and it landed tonight. So, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's just great. Well, lads, a massive congrats. Just before we finish, congratulations to you, Bill, mate. Thank you you amazing Thank news, you. mate. Yes. So, and, mate, just to quickly talk about your business as well, the Undisputed Boxing. Yes, yeah, so we've got the Undisputed Sports Boxing Shop now, uh, based in Sittenbourne. That's going really, really well. And then I've sort of collaborated it with uh, my, new, my new brand in Undisputed Boxing. Um, with the study, grow, learn, and improve sort of banner. So it's a, it's, it's a place for everybody. We, we, we welcome everyone. We've got a high level of professionals, we've got good amateurs, but we welcome anybody that wants to get involved in boxing. So, Lads, you're absolute gentlemen. Thank you so much from Small Hall. Cheers, guys. Well, Thanks, Bill. Nice one.